I'm gonna. All right, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is day four of 40 days and 40 nights. Uh, this is our fourth team blitz. So I hope everyone has their prospect list. Um, every 15 minutes, we're going to check in with each other to see, um, you know, to hold each other accountable. So I want to know every 15 minutes, I'm going to ask, how many messages did you send out? How many videos have you sent out? And how many no's have you gotten? All right, so let's get busy.
Tanisha? Yes. I just got a um, message from one of my teammates and mm -hmm. they said that they are, they are lost. What are we doing? Um, I, I was gonna text her to tell, to tell her exactly what we're doing, but just in case anyone else is lost, um, we are going through our list and we are texting the uh, peak interest text to our prospects. And once they, resp once they respond, we are sending them the video. And correct me if I'm wrong. I'm right, right, Tanisha? Yeah, yeah, you're doing great. Okay. <laughs> I love it. And once they respond back, um, we are, once they respond back. We're just following the script. Yeah, we're following the script. Yep. I didn't so did see you hear anybody new on there. Are they on? She's not even on, and I'm and I'm I'm going through. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see any new names. So everybody that's on. That, that was that was Tiffany's question. I'm I'm not even sure of where, where she is. Let me find out. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> okay. This sorry. is why they need to plug in. If you don't plug in, you're lost. Mm -hmm. So we got about three minutes and then we're going to do a check in. All right, it's 8.15. Let's do an accountability, accountability check-in. So if everyone can post in the chat, how many messages have you sent so far? How many, e how many videos have you sent? And how many no's have you gotten? Usually right around now. Thelma, your num your Thelma, your fingers are working fast. Thelma has already sent out 25 messages. No videos, no no's yet. Shawanda has sent out 12. She's gotten no responses yet. Natalie Wright has sent out seven. 
Gina has sent out nine, no responses yet. Taiwana has sent out seven messages and two videos, excellent. Tyra has sent out 10 messages, nothing yet. Ashantis has sent out eight messages, no responses yet. Atrice, she just arrived, she sent five messages, no response, no videos yet. Angel has sent out 12, no responses yet, okay. Excellent, excellent. Keep it going. Lisa has sent out 14 messages and no responses and sent out 10 cards. So Lisa, I want you to unmute yourself. What is the 10 cards that you're sending? Well, yesterday, um, Tamikia was saying, send out our business cards. So I was just sending out some business cards uh, to the people in my, um, in my um for my phone to all my friends and family in my phone just sending them my business card that was something that we was doing yesterday i just decided just to send out 10 more today okay do they know what it's for though are you sending anything with it sponsors back from that and, and the, the, the business cards in the back of our back office right but i'm saying are you sending a message with the business card to tell them what it's for what it's about or are you just randomly sending business cards well, I just sent it. I just basically said, you know, I'm in this um, um, planet business. And I said, um, if you guys want some information in reference to the business, um, just, you know, go online. If you're interested, you know, give me a call back. Hmm. No. <laughs> I don't know. Anybody have any feedback on that? Well, I got two. I got three yesterday. I got three friends that responded back and they told me to send them some information. And I sent it. So um, two of them said that they didn't get a chance to, I sent them the video as well. They said they didn't get a chance to watch the video because they worked nights. So I was hoping that they got on the call today at 12, but I wasn't able to do anything today because I was on lockdown at the job. So when I got home about maybe five o'clock, I tried to sit down and send out some responses, but then I had, I've been kind of crazy. And I'm sitting up here trying to get my final bills out for the, uh, the trip, the Cuba cruise and the Bermuda oh, cruise. Yeah. So it's just been crazy. So okay. I mean, I'm multitasking. Yeah, I mean, if you're getting responses by just sending the card with that message, then mm -hmm. go for it. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they responded. I can't. I ain't got nothing to say. If they responded. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Tanisha. You're welcome. Jerry okay. has sent out 27 messages. One no. Tanya, she's done seven without any responses, but she just started. Jody has sent out eight, no responses. Terrence has sent out 13 messages, four videos. Way to go, Terrence. That's awesome. And I've sent out nine. I'm actually kind of working from my phone, from my contacts, and I've kind of crafted a different e uh, message that I'm sending out to. Uh, people that I've kind of reached out to before. So doing something a little bit different than what you guys are, but I'm still sending out these messages. All right, Martina says she's leaving her opportunity meeting now and sending out messages. Good job, Martina. I have to share something with you guys. This is funny. I went back to my messages from January uh -huh. um, and I'm actually sending out texts to those folks because, you know, I was new and didn't know what I was doing. So I decided to go back to January and start um, from the new year. And I almost um, sent one to Lynn Hendricks. <laughs> <laughs> she would have thought that was funny, but then she would have said, good job working your business. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I've sent a couple to some business partners, so you're not the only one.
Did you see my message, Tanisha? Nope, wasn't looking up. Let me see, let me see. Working my way to be home. Do you know what she's doing? Tanya? I would ask her, you know, what is what exactly are you doing to uh, work your way home? It sounds uh, like. Okay, let me ask her because I don't know what she's doing. Um... Uh, someone on the iPhone said, can I share what happened to my post? Yes, please unmute yourself and let us know. Okay, hello, can you hear me? This is, hi, this is Tiffany. I'm in Tanya's team. Hi, Tiffany. So I shared a post. Yes, I put it up late last night, about three in the, maybe about 12, 12 at night. So mm -hmm. I got up today, throughout the day, it kept growing and growing of everybody. What was the post? Can you interested. So I just, um, so the post was, if you're looking to make money from home, get paid seven times within a month, stop living paycheck to paycheck. I know I was, mm -hmm. and, um, everybody was uh, me info, info, oh, please. And then they, they all started to talk to each other and talk about, oh, this is a scam. This is not real. This can't be real. I had 144 people interested and throughout the day I was texting them all sending them they were all like somebody info so i sent the videos uh i did that all throughout the day and then some of the people on there said well this has to be a scam i'm gonna report it so i think they must have reported it as a scam mm -hmm. and now i can't contact any of them so any of the people that you had orig originally message yes hmm well <laughs> Anytime you got you have a post going and someone starts doing a negative thing, you want to delete and block them. Delete their comment. Okay. And block them immediately because then that becomes a cancer. Oh. I didn't know I can do that. Well, now I learned. <laughs> yeah, that becomes but a cancer. It was um. Everybody. Good. Okay. Yeah, and um, but I did have a couple other people that were interested. Right now, I have about four ladies that said that they'll be interested i just have to follow them up with next week one's on vacation one just moved in town and the lady was working late today so uh, another lady i'm following up with saturday so i'm going to set them all up to do the three-way for saturday should be good i think they're they said they're very interested so okay that sounds good so did you let me ask you this did you do that post on your personal page um yes that was pretty good. That means your network of people are definitely looking for something. Um, one of the things that I would suggest that you do, hold on one second. Hey, Derek, can I call you right back? Like 30 minutes, okay? Okay, thank you. Um, announce, announce a new business partner. 
You know how we announce new business partners every time someone joins? Yeah. Right? So you want to copy and paste an announcement of a new business partner. That's going to okay. show the people that were saying, oh, it's a scam or whatever that, and even the people that were interested, but now maybe not sure because someone yeah. for a scam out that your business is growing. That people are joining your business. It's not a scam. Um, another thing that you could do, I've done this. Everybody's network is different. So I'm not saying that everybody should do this. Um, but there's been times I didn't, I've never really done this on my personal page, but I've done it in my travel group. Have you created a travel group yet? No, I actually, so what do, so who do I add? I can, if I create a travel group, is it for the promoting of my, my travel? Yes, your intelligence okay. business, yeah. So then you want okay. to invite everybody that you're friends with to that group. So everybody that stays in that group, clearly they're interested in travel, right? Right. And so at that point, um, and I got to look at the video again, because I was doing a different video. So guys, don't quote me on this. But <clears throat> back then, I would post like the James Ferrara video in there. Okay. So people understand what it is. So maybe you would post the peak ITA, like share that video in there. You're not telling everything what it is, but it, and then with, you know, hey, if anybody's interested in learning more, private message me. Because it just gives them just a little taste of, you know, what it is about your travel business, right? Because you can't do the whole planet marketing thing in your travel group, only in teletravel stuff. So maybe you, you share that video in there. But yeah, anytime okay. you, you post something, if you get some negative comments, just delete and block that. Delete that person's comment and then block them. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Well, I learned something every day. I'm still new to Facebook and how a lot of the posting works. <laughs> uh -huh. The other thing to do, because um, the post is still there, right? I had to delete it because it was blocked, so I just took it down. I was going to say, now. if that ever happens, um, screenshot the the post, the comments, so you know who, you, who to go back to that was interested. Um, I did write a majority of the people down on paper today, so I can try to go back. Maybe it'll maybe it'll let me text them because I was trying to <laughs> text them individually and it wouldn't let me. Okay, yeah, and you might just be on punishment for a little while. All right, <laughs> you might be in Facebook jail for a little while. So you know, give it a couple of days and see if you're able to uh, respond back to them. Okay. Right. But yeah, definitely share, um, you know, copy and paste an announcement of a new business partner. So people see you have a legitimate business that people are joining, that sort of thing. Right. And definitely, um, you know, as you grow in the business, you definitely want to go Facebook Live, introduce yourself to your followers on Facebook, let them know who you are, where you're from, your background and tell them why you decided to start a home-based travel business. You don't have to give a whole bunch of details and try to explain the business, but tell them why you made the decision to become a home-based travel business owner. And that gets people to say, you know, you know, she's a real person. She's not like just this, this profile pic posting scams, you know, on Facebook. Like, no, she's a real person. Okay. All right. Tanya said her response was, I am a full-time health and wellness and I work part-time as well as being a wife, mom, and robot team coach. And then she said, how about you? Is that what HBU is? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what I would say is um she had a lot going on um i would say to her let me ask you a question how much income do you need to make monthly to to be at home full time like find out what her goals are and then when she tells you oh well i need whatever let's say she says six thousand dollars a month 
then that's when you hit her with, well, if I could show you how to make $6,000 a month with one opportunity that generates eight separate streams of income, is that something you'd be willing to take a look at? So you don't have to do all those things. Okay, so let me ask you a question. How much do you need to make monthly? Uh, in, in, in order to come home, because she said specifically she was trying to, when she said come home, was she talking about retiring, come home? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. You okay. know, I mean, that's what I got based on what you posted. But I guess you kind of. Now we all started talking to each other on. You know what I mean, Tanya? Yes. Um, so, so, Tiffany, but she doesn't have a lot of time. So, you know, that's a problem. Are you, are you in, maybe just come out flat out, ask her, are you interested in time freedom? Cause you got a lot going on. Is that something that you would desire? We gotta, when people start putting out stuff like that, you gotta ask the right questions. Okay, so don't answer her question about um, how about me, right? No, 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 you can answer that question. So an answer it? Yeah, so what, uh, how would you? Uh, wait, how one, second, gonna... one second, Tanisha, Tanisha, one second. Tiffany. I remember that. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Tanisha, I'm sorry. What I was gonna say, how are you going to respond to how about you? Um, I'm a travel business owner. And a, and a planet marketing rep. Okay. You work full time? Yes. Okay. So put that in there that um, you're, you work full time. However, you're also a travel business owner or just say you're a marketing rep. You only have to say a travel business. Say I am a marketing rep. Um, that sells home-based travel businesses and I am on track to be able because Tanya if I'm not if I'm uh, not mistaken you're looking to do this business full-time at some point is that correct yes okay and you could say um, that you're on track to be a full to walk away from your job and and give your date of, of when that is like, what is your goal to be able to walk away from your job? Okay. You know what I mean? So you're going right. to let her know, I'm like you. I work full time too, because she said she works at a, at a university. Say, I work full time, but my passion is my, um, my travel business where I am a marketing rep and I sell home-based travel businesses and I'm on track to be able to leave my full-time job by such and such a date. Because okay. I want time freedom. How about you? <laughs> okay. That's how I would respond. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Great. Shawanda said, that's what I did today. What do you mean, Shawanda? I don't know what you were responding to when you put that there. I was responding to um, Tiffany's message that she had, um, well, what she was talking about, because I ended up posting something on my wall and somebody had commented and they were talking about their business or whatever, how they can make money, I guess, you know, from their business. So I end up blocking her. <laughs> Good. Did you delete her comment? <laughs> yep. I deleted her comment and I blocked it. <laughs> Good job. That's right. Don't let nobody come on your post talking smack. Right. <laughs> they trying to market their business. They need to do that on their page, on their <laughs> post. <laughs> All right. I, I know I missed our, I think I missed our check-in. I might as well just wait till five more minutes and we're going to do a check-in.
All right, it's 8.45, let's do a check-in. How many messages have you sent? How many videos have you sent? And how many no's have you gotten? Bye, Atrice. She sent a total of 25 messages. She's still waiting on responses. And thanks for the time and the push. You're welcome. Gina sent 26 messages and she's gotten two no's. Natalie has sent 28. Great job, Natalie. Jerry has sent 25 messages. She's gotten two yeses and two no's. Okay, good. So remember guys, if you remember me saying when we, uh, we had a training one night and I talked about how 93% of the population need more time um, or more information. So different things that you can post on your personal page is to really just educate people about having multiple streams of income. Um, educate people on the importance of residual income and what that is. So there's lots of different posts that you can do to kind of educate your followers so that you don't get the people who come on there talking about, oh, that's a scam, that's a, you know, every time you do a post. So be that, that voice of education and information on your personal page. You don't always wanna post, you know, join my business, join my business, educate people on why they should have a home-based business, educate people on the importance of multiple streams of income. Those things make a difference. Um, and you want your voice to be heard louder than the trolls that are on your page looking for something negative to say. So hopefully that'll help you guys. Shawanda has sent out 30. She sent out three videos and she's talking to somebody now. She's talking to three people now, excellent. Taiwana has sent out 28 messages. She's gotten two no's and sent out four videos. Excellent. Tyra has sent out 20 messages. One person said she was an agent already. Funny. <laughs> but have not replied to me. Okay. And Angel has sent out 24 messages, two responses, and no no's. That is excellent. So we have about 12 minutes to go. Does anybody have any questions about anything tonight? Any responses to the questions or any issues or things that you've come across and sending out the messages that you wanna bring up so we can discuss? Hey, Tanisha, it's Kevin Thank you. Hi. Hello, I am multitasking this evening and I wanna know, I'm doing, I'm tweaking your uh, duplication checklist. Oh, yeah. I wanna know, um, for your day one, how many hours that you, do you invest with the new business partner for that day one, for everything that says day one? So up until, it uh, looks like it says fam bam, schedule follow up to do orientation day one. That's the last thing that I see on day one. Right. So typically <laughs> the orientation day one is going to be like an hour. Okay, so that takes you about an hour, the whole, mm -hmm. everything up until then. Okay. Yep, yep, usually about an hour. And and you'll probably, I probably should update that message because I've tweaked that, um, my what I do, I've tweaked it a lot um, because I found that when you give people all that information on day one with the travel side, they never, ever get going on the marketing side. They just get engrossed in all that travel stuff and they never get going on the marketing side. So um, typically a day one for me now is, I always go over the emails that they get, right? They, the pay mm -hmm. in, the planet marketing email, the two IntelliTravel email. So I go over that information and let them know what it is and what they need to do to set up their direct deposit with Paylution 
about the ARC number and the CLIA number in that email. And then I have them log on to their IntelliTravel site, um, give them the agent. Oh, we change their password. Mm -hmm. We <coughs> personalize their agent website. We, I show them where the um, agent training manual is. Okay. I give them those three orange boxes as homework. So register with the suppliers, uh, watch the come and take a tour video and watch the compliance video. And then I take them to the um, IntelliTravel Online Academy. I do explain the three parts of the IntelliTravel University, the Dream Maker, the um, Vacation Builder, and the Travel Genius. So I do explain the three parts and the two requirements that are um, in each section. And then I give them the um, Agent uh, Online Academy to do. And then for fun, you know, I share with them, you know, the fam trips to get them really excited about their business. But then I kind of go back to what their goals are as far as how much money they want to make a month. And I talk about the million dollar seats and who would they select for those million dollar seats and who are the three people. And then I tell them to pick three more people. So they're coming up with six people that they want to expose to the business first to claim the three million dollar seats. And then I'm sending them the, the Just Ask Peak Interest script, making them read that so they understand what it is. And then I'm sending the script, having them send the first part of the script to the six people. So that at least gets them going on the marketing side right away. And I let them know the stuff on the okay. travel side, take your time with that. You know, you can do that whenever, but you want to make your money quick, right? You want to make that $5,000 a month or whatever it is that their goal was, say, this is the area that we're going to focus on. And then the travel side, you can kind of, you know, do that in the background. That's secondary to this. I want to help you make the $5,000 a month. We're not going to do that making travel. So still work the travel side, still learn it, but I make it clear to them that <clears throat> travel side, it takes years to build that. They're not going to make $5,000 a month booking travel today. But on the market side, we can help them make their money. Does that make sense? Yep. Um, so I'm definitely going to tweak it based on that because I do, from my own personal experience, um, it, the travel side does take a little bit longer. And being on both, you do see more money and you get a return on your investment much quicker with the marketing side. So I completely understand. Absolutely. And maybe you even ask them, say, Okay, you, wanna, you know, when you have that game plan interview and you're talking to them about how much money they want to make monthly, say, well, do you want to make it, you know, how fast do you want to see a return on your investment? Right? You just invested $200 to start this business. How fast would you like to see that investment? Would you like to see that within your first 30 days? When they say yes, then now you got the permission to get them going to send that message out immediately. Gotcha. All right. Martina. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Martina said, my connection is in and out, but I have been able to send out 10 scripts while driving. Totally not safe, Martina. Be careful. So she pulled up to the gas station and because she needed gas anyway, and two people are interested and she sent out the videos. Good job, Martina. Please don't text and drive, y'all. I don't want to be responsible for what could happen. <laughs> Shawanda said, okay, I set an appointment up for two people. Good job. And she wants me to send her the meeting to her email. Excellent. Excellent. Get her to a local meeting. That's awesome. Tanya said, now, okay. now how do I do that? What? Well, she, she wants me, um, well, I gave her the video. She said she was interested, but I'm trying to get her number, but she told me that she wants to, um, she wants me to send the meeting to her email. <laughs> then what, me? did she send you an email? Yeah, she sent me her email address. What meeting is she referring to? I thought you were saying she- I guess the three-way the, the three call, you know, cause I want to, you know, call her after she sees the video, you know, that's how, that's what we do, right? Yeah. So yeah, just say, um, she, she don't want me, she, she doesn't, um, she hasn't shoot me her number yet. So I don't. So 
send her your number, say, hey, I'm going to be calling you from this number and give her your number and say, what number should I reach you at? What's a good number to contact you? And that's what I did. And that's when she had sent me a message saying, please send me and meet an invite to my uh, email address. And then she said, will you prefer me to CCX? I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know what she's referring to. Say, I would like to schedule a phone call with you. What number should I reach? What number should I reach you at? Okay. Maybe she's not clear on what you're saying. So sometimes you got to dumb it down for people. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, she has, I know, some people may think some so difficult. <laughs> um, Tanya said, I've done 35 messages. I received three no's and text two videos. Excellent. And Natalie said, where did you get your planner? I can't find my note. Are you talking about this planner, Natalie? High Achievers? This I ordered online. You could probably do a Google search for High Achievers annual planner, um, annual playbook. I love this playbook because it doesn't have any dates in it. So whenever you get it, you write in the date yourself. Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. And the, the other thing I like about it, it has a month at a glance. So you can, you know, track your numbers and stuff. But then it also has the days of the week. So you can write in your stuff, your three-way calls, your IMD, whatever you're doing, you can put in here as well. Um, the other thing I love about this planner is it has a 12-month personal goal page and a 12-month business goal page. So I love that. And it really, you know, helps you kind of try to balance, um, you know, your personal life, like your family life, as well as your business. Um, in here, it also has um top books that you should read right this this planner is designed for network marketers specifically so they even have a list of the books that the top network marketers um should be reading so i love that because you can work that into your plan um so yeah so i like this i have to be honest though i'm not 100 I, I i use it sometimes and then i don't use it and then i use it and then i don't use it so i personally have been kind of inconsistent with it um that's something that i'm working on is is being more consistent with following my planner but when i was using it consistently it was great it was just when i didn't have my planner with me um i was still working the business and then i didn't have that my planner to input what I was doing. It, do you guys understand what I'm saying when I say that? Um, because it's, it is a big book. This is an eight by 10 binder. It is a big book. So I was not carrying it with me 24 seven every time I left the house. But yet every time I left the house, I was still working the business. So I was like, am I using it? Am I not using it? So but it is a it is a very, very good planner. Very good planner. And the other thing. Can you show? Yes. How large is that planner? How what? Large. It's eight by 10. Oh, it is? It looks much larger. Yeah. It's okay, sorry, I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. And what was the name of it again? It's called The High Achievers Annual Playbook. The High Achievers Annual Playbook. And it also mm -hmm. comes with the high achievers players prospect book so this is where you keep all of your prospects and i believe it has like i believe you could put yeah 528 528 prospects this is your ongoing list so sometimes i'm working from this list that's cool yeah yep. i have 
sorry, I have a quick question regarding, so if someone wants to make a thousand to two thousand dollars per month, isn't, wouldn't that be about five to 10 hours per week? So I always base everything on, and let me share my screen. Again, I always go back to the income disclosure statement because it's exactly what, sh it shows exactly what people, how much time and stuff. So let me pull that up. Oh, look at that, it's already up. So this is the income disclosure statement broken down by monthly income. Mm -hmm. this, you can also find this in our Team Lux Platinum group. Every time we get the yearly income disclosure statement, I break it down by month. How much income do they want to make a month? So here are the different levels. This is how many hours or average amount of hours a week that each level work their business. On the low end, this is how much they made. And on average, this is how much they made. So what was your thing? Did you say 5,000, Joy? 1,000 to 2,000. Uh, one, one, one to 2,000. Okay, so that's between yeah. one and a two star. You know, as a one star, you're guaranteed okay. less than 1,000. So it starts there. 1,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, so you know, one star, okay. 100, a team of 100 people. The average one star worked their travel business 10 hours a week. On the low end, they made 408, but on average, they $1,693 a month. Okay. All right. Thank you. So I'll, I'll use that chart going forward. Yes. Yes. This is a, I use this almost on every three way call. The moment the person tells me how much they want to make monthly, I, I kind of share this information so that they have a realistic expectation. All right. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, hon. Any other questions before I end this live? All right. Going once, going twice. All right. Good job, everyone. And I will see you back here tomorrow night. Bye. Bye.